Okay, shalom, shalom. Come here, Allah, Kuhuluyim la, Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Kahakadash, double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well, and that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth, and just want to say the water to all the Akiyam and Akwaf that's out here sincerely keeping the laws, the statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai to the best of their ability. This is Yah Hanan Nawaf just coming at you with another quick lesson, praying that it's edifying by the Spirit. And just wanted to touch on this article. You can see the breakdown of Negroes, pretty much, you know, so-called blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans, you know, gathering a little bit of sense. You know, the Lord is waking up our people. Some are going to be awakened to be destroyed, though. But, you know, it's the this war that's going on between Esau and Jacob that's, you know, overriding and overturning the world right now. And we're starting to see it play out, you know. In a visual way, so to speak. Now, you know, they always are able to go to these so-called black establishments and talk their shit and get Jake to come out and vote for him without getting anything out of it. And, you know, it's kind of backfiring as of this year because you got a lot of these Jake. They running around out here talking about um, niggas for Trump now. But anyway, this is um, in the New York Post politics area. It says faculty at historically black Morehouse College revolt over Biden commencement invite. Some refuse to sit with the president. <laughs> right. Now, you just had the nigga woman hugging up on Trump at Chick-fil-A um, down in Georgia. So, you know, Jake still going down to Egypt for help, though. But they're turning from these Democrats. That's pretty much them been, you know. Feeding them all these promises, haven't been getting anything out of it. Okay, but, um, and, and again, we're not black people. You know, they say black Morehouse College. Those are Israelites, man, you know. The Israelites are, are, are considered to be so-called black people, and they will be from the tribe of Judah if they are black, so-called blacks. So we have to always, you know, go into that sometimes, you know, to just let our people know, hey, look, you're not blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans, Haitians, Jamaicans, all these different names that your colonizer gave you. You're not those names. You are Hebrew Israelites from your respective tribe. You come from Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Now, Jacob had 12 sons, and you come from one of those 12 sons. And just so happened, you so-called blacks, you come from the son um, Judah, right? Or Yahweh. Let's get into a little bit of this article. It says, faculty at Morehouse College are in an uproar over plans for President Biden to deliver the school's commencement address next month. Now, normally they would be glad for, you know, somebody like Joe Biden to come. It brings attention to the school, you know, you know, uh, you know, business, you know, all the, you know, people get to speak their little bullshit about how they want the world to change. <laughs> little shit like that. But, you know, generally, you know, a president um, coming to a college is considered to be somewhat big, but hey, Jake not having it. It says professors at the historically black college. Say Biden's ongoing support of Israel amid the war in Gaza is too much, with some saying they will not be seen next to the Democratic president. So Esau's losing on, on a few different on borders, man. You know, it's not going well for these Israelis. They used to be able to come on TV and get the, you know, that play the victim role and but shit, man. These people not they not they not having it this time. That shit is over with. And they pushing hard. I just seen a damn commercial on um, 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 during the NBA game because, you know, they're showing these, um, I forgot what they call, but they got these Jewish commercials or, you know, basically um, hate shouldn't be tolerated. You know, they got the blue box. And they want people to join. And then they got the, um, just after that, they got these um, he gets us um, commercials that you've seen during the, you know, Super Bowl and all these other things, you know, with these Christians, you know, um, trying to, the washing your feet commercial. I don't know if you've seen it with, you know, they washing all these, you know, these people washing all these different people's feet. And then you got some damn priest watching some Negro's feet. And he's, you know, a part of the LGBTQ community, you know, and, and they pushing that idea of he gets us. Nah, man, he going to get you. All right. Your ass don't repent. OK, but anyway, they're losing that information war. Um, it's not going well. For the Israelis and and they're driving the Democratic Party chance of winning into the hole. It's not it's not looking good for them right now. Okay, it says faculty at Morehouse College is in an uproar over plans for 
Plans for the president to deliver the school's commitment address next month. Professors, professors at the historically black college say Biden's ongoing support of Israel amid the war in Gaza is too much. With some saying they will not be seen next to the Democratic president. I've spoken with several faculty members who say under no conditions are they going to sit on a stage with Joe Biden. Andrew Douglas, on political science, a political science professor at Morehouse, told NBC, "It's on everybody's mind." Douglas is a member of the school's 15-person faculty council, which recently penned a letter to the Morehouse president, David A. Thompson, Thomas, expressing their disappointment with Biden's selection. See, and, and Joe, hey, Joe, know what to do. He know he can't go to none of these other colleges. So he gonna he gonna fall back on you Negroes like he normally do. He know you Negroes are stupid as hell. That's the way they see you. They look at you like you don't have sense enough to um, see the world as as these other um, colleges do, so to speak. They or, or or the other races. They looking at you like they doofy as hell. They stupid as fuck. They we can always get them. We've always been able to get them. All we got to do is go through and say a few um, shining words, and and they're on our side. But it's not working this time, man. It says on Thursday, college leaders held an emergency call to see if the fallout could potentially be contained. From our perspective, really having a sitting president come to Morehouse offers an incredible opportunity. Morehouse Provost Kendrick Brown, who led the call, told the network, this is something that is in line with Morehouse's mission and also with this objective of being a place that allows for engagement of social justice issues and moral concerns. Man, this man, I come, they, they, he coming through to get your vote. You don't give a fuck about your moral concerns. Hell out of here, man. This man is out here pushing abortion on your ass. Where's the moral concern when it comes to that? It's crazy because he'll go through to this college and get to telling you Negroes about not having a family. Because overall, what he wants you to do is go have an abortion. He going to push that shit on you. Um, I mean, he only got one or two talking points that he'll, he'll kick it to you Negroes about. And that's it. Because they, they don't see you to be intelligent enough to see anything else. <laughs> right? It says Biden and his team are girding for widespread anti-Israel protests during his remarks. On Wednesday, Press Secretary Karen Jean Pierre addressed the issues of commencement disruptions head on. Like, why y'all going to Morehouse? Why don't you just, motherfucker, just do, do your speech elsewhere. Just do it in the White House. Why you feel the need to come running up on Jake and see they, they get these young, impressionable Jakes and you ain't gonna be nothing there but a bunch of nigga women. It says, I understand this is a different moment in time that we're in. But he always takes this moment as a special time to deliver a message, an encouraging message, a message that hopefully uplifting the graduates and their families. No, he wants your vote. That's what he's looking for. He don't give a fuck about what you feeling like or what you do. Just come put your, just, just, I need you at the ballots. Come vote for me. That's all he's looking for. And that's all these presidential candidates, man. They not doing them for you Negroes. And the scripture says, woe to them that go down to help, go down to Egypt for help. And the scripture also talks about, you know, um, um, if you're going to, you know, um, basically not setting anyone as, you know, a, 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 a over you that's not one of your brethren these damn edomites are not our brethren they don't care about our our um way of life so to speak they don't care about your well-being rather they don't care okay so it goes on to say and we're going to continue to have these conversations that i've just mentioned with the different communities about what's happening right now we get it it's painful Colleges and universities throughout the country are facing major challenges as their campuses are convulsed with sit by sit-ins and protest encampments from anti-Israel students and faculty. Some, like the University of Texas at Austin, have responded with heavy hand squashing demonstrations with mounted police. Many more schools, however, have elected to simply let their students run wild. Okay, so they're going off into the colleges and shit. But you, get, but you see what it is. <laughs> Esau, on the Democratic end, you know, as far as the the, the ones that think y'all the stupidest, <laughs> I mean, they're losing that footing, man. And Joe Biden just done done so bad, man. You know, they they, they make it, they throw the, throw you these couple of little um talking points, 
as far as like he's done this or he's done that and man joe biden ain't done number fuck this place up and and you know hey it would be a good thing if he just go ahead and continue if he get another four years because he's fucking it up real good and we're praying for the downfall of Esau Edom's kingdom, our enemy, man. We want that to happen. So I think Joe Biden will be a great choice to um, to continue on the legacy of fucking this place on up, man. Because this, this place is trash. He's talking about building back better. And there's nothing going to come out of this, man, but, but, but chaos, man. You're on the brink of a civil war. The people are all separated. Uh, you got, uh, uh, it, it's just, it's, this place is trash, man. This place is trash. This is what you will be called, you know, like I'm um, giving up, you know, just, um, you know, before you just lose it all, just, just take an L and now America going to go all the way out to the, in, in, into the hole, man. Well, let me just grab this quick scripture. I ain't want to keep this long. I just seen that like, okay, Jake, y'all trying to do a little something, something y'all got sense enough to say, nope, motherfucker, you're not coming here. Cause that's what he going to try and do. He going to come there. He's trying to push you into, he believes in your. He, 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 he wants you to think that he loves you. They done it the last time. You see how him and Kamala got down on y'all the last time. And see, Jake, they realizing it. Now you want to go out and vote for Trump, which ain't going to do no better for you. You might as well just stand down, man, and let these people vote for themselves and let this place crumble. So at least they can blame their fall on their own race. Because they're blaming the fall of this country on you damn Negroes. They're always going to put you in that, in that, that picture, man. They look at the country and you going out voting for Biden, you know, as you're being the ones that's really fucking up their country. They looking at you like that. They're not looking at the fact that there's just some fuck ups in general. They looking at you like, nope, it's you, you Negroes. You're going out and you're voting Democrat. Yeah, man. So this is um, Ecclesiastes 25 and 7. There'll be nine things which I, which I have judged in my heart to be happy. And the tenth I will utter with my tongue, a man that have joy of his children, and he that liveth to see the fall of his enemy. And that's what we're witnessing right now. We're witnessing the fall of our enemy. And also, this right here is playing out real strong too. Matthew 12 and 25. And Yahweh Shai knew their thoughts and said unto them, Every kingdom divided against itself is brought to desolation. And every city or house divided against itself shall not stand. And that's even down to these colleges, man. The damn colleges are separated. They can they they can't even they can't even run class like how they would normally run class. Now they're trying to do some at home online shit, you know, to try and keep these Israelis safe. They don't feel comfortable. They don't feel safe at the campuses. You know, so that that's a huge separation in itself. Then we, we're not gonna even talk about these banks falling. These banks, um, um, you know, they've been going off into these, hey, the, the financial um, um, sector of this, this place is through to. People out here struggling. They can't afford rent. They can't afford the groceries. They can't afford the gas. Like, shit is really falling in this place. And it's falling real quick. And then you ain't no telling what this man gonna do, man, when, um, you know, to try and keep office, man. 2 Corinthians 2 and 11. Lest Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. Hey, we're not ignorant of the fact that when they get into these situations, there could be a false flag from one ever end. They could they could bring out another um 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 dammit on your ass or have y'all shut back up wearing them down face diapers again. They could um you know um they already been talking about uh, another uh, 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 like a a, a nine eleven strike or some shit. With all the protests that's going on, you see. So they're 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 already throwing seed out there to the people that this could happen, or this could happen, or this could happen, and, and they're programming the people already to um be acceptive of, of what's to come, you know, so or, or what they may create. So we don't know, man. You know, you just never know with um Esau, man. Just never know, and we know that these presidents, these leaders, are being um selected and not elected. So who who knows how this gonna run? Of course they got Trump in the in, in the ringer, running this this guy back and forth to court and shit over shit, cause they they already know that Joe Biden is doing that bad. Really, that's the reality of it. Joe Biden is doing so bad that they're trying to keep Trump from actually really running, man, by keeping him in you know in these 
back going back and forth to court trying to keep him off them ballots. And that right there in itself is going to, you know, just stir up that civil war even more. Wars, rumors of wars, where the scriptures talked about that. And Matthew, wars, rumors of wars. Not only wars of rumors of wars being spoken of, but wars and, um, um, war, you know, um, talks of nuclear war. That's your big talk these days. Nuclear war, man. So, hey, get set and get ready for it, man, because um, there's a lot of things that's about to come to come to pass, man. But this right here is a beautiful thing. And when I went into the comment boards, of course, hey, they with it. But you also got so-called white people. They're, they're actually in the comment sections asking if these so-called Negroes, are there with their cause or are they just doing it because they hate Biden too? I actually seen a few, you know, um, questions as to, okay, so do these, do these so-called black people follow us, you know, our, our agenda, so to speak? You know, are they going to go out and vote for Trump? You know, so to speak, or are they just some Negroes that's just going to stand back, that's just not going to deal with whatever, whatever, you know what I'm saying? So, hey, I say, hey, you Negroes, y'all need to cut it out, man. Cut it out. Fuck, stop fucking with these people, man. Let me see. Um, See if I can find that one. Because we're not supposed to set anyone over us. Uh, I'm trying to think where that's at. What's the lock here? Let me reword it real quick. Yeah, Deuteronomy 17 and 15. Thou shalt in any wise set him king over thee, whom Yahweh thy God shall choose. One from among thy brethren shalt thou set king over thee. Thou mayest not set a stranger over thee, which is not thy brother. We're not to be, we're not supposed to be setting um, um, uh, 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 these damn heathen over us, man. You're going out voting for a damn heathen like Kamala Harris and, and Joe Biden. Those are heathens. You're going out voting for um, um, Trump. That's, that, that's a damn heathen. You know, you're going out and you, you voting for these mayors, these governors, these senators, damn heathen to rule over you when... It's not going to help you, man. As a matter of fact, let's get this Isaiah 31 and 1. It says, woe to them that go down to Egypt for help. Which basically, woe to you, woe to you niggas that's going down to the heathen for help, basically. And stay on horses and trust in chariots. Because there are many. Because you trust in America. Or you trust in these, these because they're, they're telling you that they're the greatest country in the world. You know, um, that we can, you, you know, I mean, they, they have us. I mean, we're in captivity to them. You know, the scriptures talks about how we will have to go to him for one of all things. We do know that. You have to go to this man for food, water, clothing. Scripture says that. That's a part of the curses. You know? So we got to go to him for once of all things. But to be putting your faith in him instead of Yahweh by Shemiah that's 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 going to get you um done dirty, man. It says, um, Woe to them that go down to Egypt for help. And stay on horses and trust in chariots because they are many and in horsemen because they are very strong. But they look not into the Holy One of Israel, neither seek the Lord. See? Now where people don't look to the Lord, they don't seek the Lord. They go to the white man. He's got it. That's why a lot of our people going gonna, to gonna be, um, they're going to go and take that goddamn chip. Because Esau going to be, he going to give you the ultimatum. Hey, look, come take this thing thing. We'll feed you. We got food for you. We got um, water for you. We got shelter for you. Other than that, you're not going to be able to move about in life out here. Uh, and uh, if you go and do that, then you've chosen your king. You've chosen your um your 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 um God basically, because that's what Esau. He has a God complex. He ultimately wants to be your God. He don't want you to believe in Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. He wants you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans to perpetually give over your your life to him, basically. No, forget the Lord. Come to me. I'm your Lord. And that's idol worship, man. This man about to get y'all asses destroyed, so you better get away from him. And all this old, this type of shit, and this right here, it, it lets you know how foolish they think you are. He would come to a black, so-called black college. Why don't you go to a Palestinian college? 
Go where there's some Jews, some so-called white people. Go to Columbia. Go to one of these colleges where they're protesting and have your fucking commencement speech. But see, they know they can fall back on you Negro Negroes. Why? Because you've been dedicated to them for so long. Especially the so-called black woman. She's the one that's in these voting lines. Same, just like how they the same ones in these churches, um, um, bringing white Jesus back to the house on all, on the household. See, the Lord is cutting all off into this stuff. See, this type of stuff right here. You, you, hey, I'm telling you, uh, four or five years ago, this would have been they would have been applauding this man coming through to this college. They telling Nah, nigga, you stay the fuck where you are. Don't come here. We're not gonna be on. We don't even want to sit around you. We don't want nothing to do with you. Because why? The cat is out of the bag, man. The, the What's in the dark is starting to come to the light, man. And we starting, you know, the people starting to see, hey, these people are, are some fuck-ups. And they're not going to make anything better for you. So just kick back and enjoy the ride because the, because the destruction is already in play. You're not going to stop the Lord destroying this place. Prophecy is going to play out. So all that going out and voting for these people, you out of your damn mind. You better All you got to do is kick back and just watch the destruction and the fall of this place, which is going to fall because the Lord ordained it. This place is not going to go past its boundary, man. So with that, I pray that the lesson was edifying. Come your soul.